Hey there YouTube, my weekly here, and today I'm going to be showing you a Dark Souls save editor. Now Dark Souls was the free game of the month a couple of months ago, so quite a lot of people will have the game. So I thought I'd do a mod tool. Alright, so first off I've got the save onto the USB and it's now plugged into my computer. If you don't know how to do that, click the screen now and I will have a video tutorial showing you how to do that. So now we're on the PC, you can see we're on Horizon and on the right here is Dark Souls and my save. All you're going to want to do is drag it out to the desktop which I've done there and just minimize that and then we can go ahead and open the Dark Souls save editor which is here and the download link will be in the description as always. Now once it's open you can go ahead and select file load file from local Go to where you've saved it, and right there. And it'll do a backup in the uh, mod tool folder, and then just select user data. Alright, as you can see here, I've not done much on the game. I started it and kept getting killed and rage quit off it. So I've got pretty much nothing on it. So in the mod tool, there is actually items with text files like with all the items and the IDs and stuff. Now what you can do is select them and you can scan and it'll load them all in and then you can just add them just like that. So now I've got loads of keys but it's pretty pointless I don't want keys. I want items so let's get in this what do we want? Let's get yeah, let's get some good armor. And then scanning down here is a percent. So I'm just gonna pause the video right here and I will see you after it's finished scanning. Alright, so now all the items are loaded. As you can see there are 396 items. We can hit add all items, but there's 667 and I've only got 64 slots. So what we can do I'm not sure, I think, let's just see what happens. Okay, it doesn't actually matter apparently, we can actually have all these items. But okay, there we go, we've got items, so we're done with that. So let's just go ahead and save the changes for that. There we go, and now we can edit attributes here in the tools. And now you can edit your character. There's my character name. The Covenant, I don't really know what that is, but I can change that. You can change your class, your gift, your physique. And you can max souls and max all these things. Like all the attributes. So save changes on that. Close. And let's save. There we go, now it's saved. I'm just going to go ahead and reopen the file. Just to check that it actually has modded. And they have it, it is modded. <laughs> so yep, there we go, we're done. Now let's go back to Horizon. And move that onto Horizon. There we go, it's saved. So let's just go ahead and save it again just to be sure. And just like that, now it's on a USB, so I'll see you on the Xbox to see the changes. On YouTube, we are now on the Xbox, and as you can see, memory unit, games and apps, that's my Dark Souls save, which I just modded. So let's go ahead and load up Dark Souls. Okay, now you're going to want to select the save device which your file is on. And now Dark Souls is loaded. Let's go ahead and load the save. Now 
And there you have it. We have max health. Max souls. I don't look at equipment there. We have loads of equipment and stuff. Max attributes. Max venom is Path of the Dragon. Level 792. So yeah. video and if it helped you finally beat Dark Souls, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.